Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the Nokia Expert site. I'm um, just doing a quick little video here to show you something that I was extremely impressed with today when I did a little update. So, um, I love the Nokia N900. I keep bouncing back and forth between it and the Nexus One. However, the Nexus One is having issues with maintaining a nice 3G connection point. So, I keep on bouncing back to the N900, which, of course, typical Nokia is high quality reception. Now, uh, one reason that I was not using um, the N900 uh, quite a bit was because of Twitter, right? There was never, there was Maiku, which, which really didn't have a lot of functionality in it, and I was missing some things. Um, Daniel Wood has been working on developing a, the Witter um, application for Twitter, which you can now see here. Let me just. Uh, Check the manual focus, see if we can get in a little bit better. It's kind of hard to tell on this little screen that I've got on this camera. But hopefully that gets you, uh, gets you a good idea. So this is Witter, right? And um, the interface, this is like the third or fourth iteration of what I've seen of the improvements. It's much improved over what it was the, the very first version. Um, as you can see, if you tap up here, you can see there's some different setups that you can do and, and twit pick and trends. And there actually is quite a bit of functionality. There's some preferences here, which you can uh, set time intervals uh, for updates and things like that. Um, the previous version had a UI, and I can't show it now because I've upgraded, but it had a UI thing where you would uh, you would have to tap and hold on a uh, on a and now it doesn't do it, but you'd have to tap and hold on a tweet, and then a little menu would pop up over here, and it was very small. Uh, it had replies, URL actions, uh, and some other things, and then it would have, so you'd tap a little line, and then it would open up another arrow, and then tap again. So there was a bunch of interaction that had to go on to actually uh, do something with that tweet. And, uh, you know, the tap and hold wasn't bad, but the small menus that required definitely a fingernail rather than a fingertip were what bugged me. So today I did an update and now we see we do a double tap and there we go we see this menu pop up very similar looking to what I've seen on gravity right so you can open the URL you can dismiss which hides this pop-up menu you can unfollow follow uh, do a direct message retreat or reply right there from uh, the double tap right and you can dismiss and you can go to uh, some other ones do a double tap there we go if there's a URL it doesn't worry about it if uh, it just goes up to dismiss and all these actions you can take and as you can see it's much more finger friendly right I can just tap my thumb on it and things like that let's see uh, let's see if I can find one that has an at so there we go so this has another ad in there so I can select to follow or, and if I take follow all right I'm not sure that's gonna do much because uh, I'm already following them But as you can see, I like the double tap. And uh, retreat, there we go. It fills out the line for you. And you can of course do whatever you want with it. And you can hide it if you want, that kind of thing. So there's a quick look at Witter. As you can see, mentions, you can do DMs, you can do friends. You can do a search here, conduct a search, jump up to the timeline. So it actually is quite functional. Um, also, when you do a tweet, you can do a twit pick and then select a picture. This interface still needs a bit of work. That's kind of, as you can see, <clears throat> um, kind of an archaic kind of file file system. Uh, I use twit pick myself. I'm not sure if there's support for other uh, picture um, interfaces at this time but uh, but that's fine with me since I oh yeah so since uh, I did give some feedback on the double tap thing and uh, the developers seem to be quite uh, quick at implementing that one thing I would like is if we scroll all the way down you see you get to the bottom and there's no way to go to any more tweets right and then in the preferences, there was no setup for see the next 50 tweets or the next 100 or whatever. What I've seen on, on some good applications is when you get to the bottom, if you, you can either scroll up 
or you can tap something that says uh, more tweets and, and see more tweets than the default loaded um, tweets that you happen to see. Because sometimes when I come in here, uh, there might only be 20 tweets there and sometimes if it's been a long time since I've caught up, I'd like to scroll through some more of that. So um, I would like to see some implementation of a way to either dynamically select a number of tweets or set that in the preferences as 50, 80, something like that. Um, one thing you can see on this version is it goes to full screen, right? When you're when you're browsing, so that's kind of nice. It gives you a full screen, and if you tap a letter, it would uh, it would open up the box to go ahead and enter a tweet as well. All right, so that's it for Witter, updated on the Nokia N900. Thanks for watching.